Scientist has discovered a giant gaseous planet about 379 light years from Earth, orbiting a star with the same mass as the Sun. His name is TOI 2180b and it's a new planet, specifically, an exoplanet discovered by a NASA citizen scientist. Noticed on February 1, 2020, that a plot showing starlight from TOI 2180, another exoplanet dimmed by less than half a percent, then returned to its previous brightness level by 24 hours. It is a giant gaseous planet denser than Jupiter, located 379 light-years from Earth, and orbiting a star with the same mass as the Sun. It is called an exoplanet for that reason, because it orbits a star other than the Sun. Although it has the same diameter as Jupiter, it is nearly three times as massive, making it denser. From here arises the doubt of the NASA researchers, was it formed in a different way than Jupiter? It has about 105 Earth masses of elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, as explained by NASA. It takes 261 days for the planet to orbit its star. Its surface temperature is 76 degrees Celsius. The planet is made of helium and hydrogen. The planet has rings and moons. It dims by half a percent in 24-hour period. In our solar system, the Jupiter, Neptune, Uranus and Saturn are the gas giants. Now, Uranus and Neptune are classified as ice giants for their heavily volatile materials. The gas giants do not have any solid matter. It is full of swirling gases. The new planet takes 261 days to revolve around its star. This long period of revolution is not usually found in exoplanets. Also, the revolutionary period is shorted for its size. Jupiter takes 12 Earth years to complete one revolution around the Sun. And Saturn takes 29 Earth years to complete one revolution. Also, the new planet is warmer than the outer planets in our solar system. However, as compared to the other exoplanets discovered so far, it is abnormally chill. The worlds orbiting other stars are called exoplanets, and they come in a wide variety of sizes, from gas giants larger than Jupiter to small, rocky planets about as big around as Earth or Mars. They can be hot enough to boil metal or locked in deep freeze. They can orbit their stars so tightly that a year lasts only a few days, they can orbit two suns at once. Some exoplanets are sunless rogues, wandering through the galaxy in permanent darkness. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is the thick stream of stars that cuts across the sky on the darkest, clearest nights. Its spiraling expanse probably contains about 400 billion stars, our Sun among them. And if each of those stars has not just one planet, but, like ours, a whole system of them, then the number of planets in the galaxy is truly astronomical. We're already heading into the trillions. We humans have been speculating about such possibilities for thousands of years, but ours is the first generation to know, with certainty, that exoplanets are really out there. In fact, way out there. Our nearest neighboring star, Proxima Centauri, was recently found to possess at least one planet, probably a rocky one. It's 4.5 light years away, more than 25 trillion miles or 40 trillion kilometers. The bulk of exoplanets found so far are hundreds or thousands of light years away. The bad news, as yet we have no way to reach them, and won't be leaving footprints on them anytime soon. The good news, we can look in on them, take their temperatures, taste their atmospheres and, perhaps one day soon, detect signs of life that might be hidden in pixels of light captured from these dim, distant worlds. The first exoplanet to burst upon the world stage was 51 Pegasi b, a hot Jupiter 50 light years away that is locked in a four day orbit around its star. The watershed year was 1995. All of a sudden, exoplanets were a thing. But a few hints had already emerged. A planet now known as Tadmore was detected in 1988, though the discovery was withdrawn in 1992. Ten years later, more and better data showed definitively that it was really there after all. And a system of three pulsar planets also had been detected, beginning in 1992. These planets orbit a pulsar some 2,300 light-years away. Pulsars are the high-density, rapidly spinning corpses of dead stars, raking any planets in orbit around them with searing lances of radiation. Now we live in a universe of exoplanets. The count of confirmed planets is 4,908, and rising. 